Hey developers, today we're going to look at the top five editors and development environments that you should be using as a web developer. We're going to be looking equally at text editors and also fully integrated development environments. We're going to look at the pros and cons of each and I'm going to rank them from five all the way up to number one. If you're new to this channel, I actually do a lot of different programming tutorials, top five videos, and I answer questions. So if you like this type of videos, please click that subscribe button and that really, really helps me. Also this week, I just want to let you know that Udemy is having a $10 sale. So you should really check that out. I put a link in the description below. You can click on it. I have two courses that I really like. I put them in the description. So check those out. And without further ado, let's take a look at the top five countdown, top five integrated development environments and text editors. Thanks. And at number five is Visual Studio Code. VS Code is a free source code editor created by Microsoft for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. It's a fairly new editor. It was just released in April of 2015. It supports numerous programming languages and frameworks. In addition, it has plugin support, snippets, syntax highlighting, and code completion out of the box. I know a lot of developers that have switched to VS Code when writing in TypeScript because of the excellent IntelliSense support. It's definitely worth checking out. At number four is JetBrains suite of IDEs. JetBrains, formerly known as IntelliJ, is a software company that has created several software development environments for web developers. You may have heard of PHP Storm, WebStorm, IntelliJ, IDEA, PyCharm, RubyMines, are just a few of the excellent IDEs that JetBrains provides. Their products are supported under Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. One drawback is that they aren't free like some of the other IDs and editors on this list. Expect to please to pay at least $100, although it's well worth the money. JetBrains products includes code completion, support for some of the most popular web frameworks and libraries, great debugging inside the ID, integration with many popular version control systems, and there's plenty of the other features that I haven't mentioned, but just expect that JetBrains will include it. Also expect continuous updates and upgrades. At number three is Sublime Text. Sublime Text is a cross-platform source code editor. It's been around since 2008 and was created by John Skinner. It supports several programming languages, all the popular programming languages and frameworks that you expect. It has auto completion, syntax highlighting, snippets, third party plugins. I've seen a lot of high level developers work in Sublime because it's such a great IDE. It's fast and you can use it basically for free, although you do have a nag screen every now and then, but it's well worth paying the $70 for a full copy. Check it out. At number two is Adam. Atom is a text editor built from the same people who brought you GitHub. It's modern, approachable, yet hackable to a core tool. The greatest asset of Atom is its plugin system. There are literally thousands of plugins available that can really supercharge the editor. I use it frequently when I program in Windows, although it has support for all major operating systems, Mac OS, Linux, everything. It was originally created in 2014, so it's one of the newer arrivals in the IDE scene and it's constantly being updated. It's at heart a text editor, but it can do a lot more. And at number one is Vim. Vim is a text editor originally created from Bill Joy's VI text editor program all the way back in 1976, created for the Unix operating systems out there. Vim is an acronym for VI Improved which is an extension of the original VI editor. Definitely Vim has come a long way since its Unix roots and now supports plugins that give it all sorts of IDE features, including syntax highlighting, text completion, and a lot more. It's also available on every single operating system out there. I've used it extensively with web development and it works definitely very well. It does, it does have a little bit of a learning curve, so don't expect to be productive right away. For one, it will take some time to learn the different key bindings and to move around, since you can pretty much use the keyboard and not even touch the mouse for almost all of it. 
If you aren't convinced of the usefulness of them, take a look at the video linked in the description below from a conference talk that Torin Billups did a few years ago. He speeds through creating and testing a web, applica web application using Vim and several plugins. It's pretty cool to watch. Check it out. Vim, definitely my number one choice. It is awesome. Thank you for watching. As always, if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. That really helps me. And click on that description below. Look at the Udemy $10 sale. Click on that link. It's actually affiliate link. I do get a little bit of money just uh, for disclosure. Thank you. Have a great day. Take care.